now i will discuss a uh, lab program for a given data set of training example training data example stored in a csv file implement and demonstrate the candidate elimination algorithm to output a description of the set of all hypothesis consistent okay so this is the problem statement so here we need to uh, apply the candidate elimination algorithm for the given uh, data training data example Okay, this is the data set what we are using. Okay, same enjoy sports data set. Okay, we are using here in that three are positive example, one is negative example. We are finding the same whatever problem we have discussed, same problem, same example we are taking here. Okay, so here we are reading, uh, you know, uh, we are uh, using uh, NumPy and Pandas, two uh, packages we are using, NumPy and Pandas. Okay, so NumPy has uh, NP and Pandas has PD. We are giving the alias name using that, we are using these things. Okay, so here first thing is what we are doing. We are loading a CSV file. So this CSV file is stored here. Files dot CSV. This is the file name. Okay, so we are reading this here CSV file. That function is available in uh, Pandas. Okay, read underscore CSV. Okay, so we are reading that one. We are storing in that data, and that one we are converting into data frame. Okay, and that one will be stored in variable data. Okay, so data frame is nothing but a two-dimensional represent tabular representation of the uh, data. Okay, so we never want to do some manipulation, so we will convert that data in the CSV file into data frame. Okay, so now data is uh, 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 actual data is available in this data variable. So now we will separate the concept features from the target. So this is the target. So we are separating from first attribute to sixth attribute from sky to forecast. Okay, so uh, except this enjoy sports last target variable. So here, how we learn? So here we are using a you know, an integer location. Okay, so integer location is, is this function we are used to separate the attributes with the target variable. So here we are, we are considering all the rows and starting from zeroth column minus one except last column. Okay, we are considering all the rows starting from zeroth column except minus one minus one means except last column from zero to except last column it means we are starting from sky to forecast okay so those things we are consider we are taking those values and we are converting that one into an array and we are storing in the concept variable like that we are isolating the target variable from a separate data frame okay so here same thing data integer location we are considering all rows okay so all uh, you know all rows we are considering and minus one means we are considering only last column okay so minus one means we are considering only last column that one into uh, converted into array and we are, we are starting the target now we are defining the you know uh, candidate algorithm uh, uh, function okay that is defined learn by passing the concept uh, you know, by passing concept and target okay so here this learn function implements the learning method of the candidate elimination algorithm okay so the arguments are concepts a data frame with all the features and target a data frame with the corresponding output values okay so initialize s not with the first instance from the concept and copy makes sure a new list is created instead of just pointing to the same memory location copy we are creating a one more copy instead of pointing to the same memory location okay so here we are copying we are copying the uh, concept of zero so first uh, instance will be copied to specific case. okay so same thing we are what we are doing in that uh, theory part uh, so first we are initializing uh, uh, specific hypothesis to theta and uh, general hypothesis to question mark after that in first instance uh, first iteration what we are doing we are copying the uh, if it is positive values so just we are copying the uh, first instance with the specific values that one we are doing we are copying the first instance uh, concept of zero copy it will be copied to specific edge okay so concept of first one will be copied to specific edge concepts of zero first row will be copied to specific edge now general edge what we are doing in general edge so we are you know initializing question mark okay so initially we are initializing how many our values are there so in the you know uh, in a matrix forum we are initializing question mark so how many values are there and how many columns are there and how many rows that much we are initializing by using for loop so we are initializing question mark for i in range length of specific edge how the specific edge length 
and for i in range of length of specific edge. So how many suppose if it is six into six, with six into six matrix, we are initializing general edge with the question mark. Okay, so now learning iterations. So for i in, for i comma h in enumerate concepts. So it enumerates what it will do, it will count the number of iterations. Okay, so here well, first thing what we need to do, we need to check the, if the hypothesis has a positive target. If target of i is equal to yes, if it is positive, what we need to do? Okay, so for x in range of length of specific edge, uh, it, we need to iterate till the length of specific edge. So here we will change the values s and g only if values are changed. So it means if that h of x, okay, so current in uh, uh, current instance value is not equal to specific uh, specific uh, hypothesis value, okay. So if h of x is not equal to specific h of x, specific h of x, it means if the value of current instance that is first inst uh, current instance. Uh, attribute value one should not be equal to if it is not equal to specific uh, uh, specific value of h first specific value of h if it is not equal what we are doing so when there is a values are different what we are doing we are initializing specific h of x should be question mark okay so and we are not changing anything general whatever the values so we are initializing so you know already we are initialized with the question all values with the question mark same thing we are doing general h of x h of x is will be question mark okay when there is a difference instance and the specific edge when there is a difference we will put a question mark okay we'll keep the same uh, general uh, specific edge we are not changing anything so already a question mark is there same thing we are covering okay so if the hypothesis has a okay so if the hypothesis you know okay if a target i of is equal to no okay so for the second okay we are checking a positive target now if it is negative value if the target of i is equal to no so then what we are doing we are changing the value in general hypothesis okay so for x in range of length of specific h what we are doing we need to do iterations if h of x is not equal to specific h of x okay the instance value it should not be equal to specific h specific hypothesis value so then what we are doing we are copying this specific h values to generalize yes or no so we are copying the if there is a difference when the value when the instance is negative so at that time we are not changing anything in specific value so we are changing in the general value how we will change the general hypothesis value we will compare the current instance with the we will compare the current instance with the specific h value if there is a difference what we are doing we are copying the specific h value to general hypothesis otherwise what we are doing we will put a question mark in the general hypothesis okay so that's all okay if negative hypothesis okay so like that we need to uh, uh, iterations uh, the iterations will be executed in the length of a specific edge okay yeah. okay so then after that what we are doing so he already told that we are initialized with the uh, uh, question mark uh, so here we need to remove okay so that uh, we need to validate the general general hypothesis final step we have to we have done in that problem same thing we are doing so here we are removing empty call that is question mark uh, n, n number of question marks are there na? so those set of we are removing from this so find the indices where we have empty rows meaning that those are unchanged Okay, so we are removing empty rows in that. Okay, so for that we will have a, uh, you know, for loop. Okay, if value is equal to question mark. Okay, remove those rows from the general hedge. Okay, so we are removed from the general hedge. Okay, return specific. Finally, we are retaining specific edge and general hypothesis value. Okay, so here this is the function definition. Here we are calling the learning function concepts called concepts comma target. Okay, so then finally uh, that values are stored in S final and G final. We are printing S final and G final. Okay, so uh, output will be uh, this one output will be, we will get sunny warm question mark, strong question mark, question mark, sunny question mark, and uh, question marks or question mark. This is the thing. I will show in the execution. Uh, I am showing the execution of the program now.
same program uh, uh, we have here we have typed in uh, uh, spider environment okay so same thing uh, i have typed in the spider and when i execute this using the run button okay so here the this is the data set okay so we are displaying the data set after that we are getting a final s and one question mark strong question mark question mark and final uh, general hypothesis will be the sunny question mark and first set and question mark war question mark. okay so this is the output we are getting from this program so same program i have typed run i have executed thank you very much